Hey guys, hope you're having a great day. Today we're in my favorite part of the island, Kalihi, my hometown. So um, we're here at a place called Kalihi Beer. If you didn't know, Kalihi has a brewery that's been here for a little bit and it's on Mo'owa'a Street. If you're not familiar, I will turn it around. If you go um, that way, this is Mo'owa'a Street. That street over there is the backside of where uh, Ahi and Vegetable is and the Zippies Dillingham. And if you keep going that way, you'll hit uh, this way, you'll hit uh, Coho Street. So this is the parking lot for the brewery. There's only a couple spots here. Um, and you can see the sign for the brewery parking because they share the parking with some mechanics and such. Um, it used to be home brewed paradise. There it is. And you can see the big flags for the brewery. Um, and there's the logo for Kalihi Beer. I really like the logo and I heard they have some merchandise. So I hope I can get a nice t-shirt. So let's go inside. And there's my friend T. So this is the inside. And there's a couple of seats. There's the brewing stuff. Wow, that's super cool. They got a bar over there where you can sit down and drink, and here's the merch. Okay, we started off with a flight of beer. You get to pick four out of the digital menu. It's up there on the wall. And um, I guess he gave me a list, so that's nice, so you know what you're drinking. This one is uh, Lolly and Popsicle. Um, Hi-Fi, this is the Detective Stout, I believe, and that is the Bread Pudding, which sounds delicious, it's a dessert beer, and like I said, I really like their logo, super cool. Alright, I don't know, um, what should I try first? <laughs> I guess I'll try it. The dessert one? The dessert one? Okay, this is the Bread Pudding. I wouldn't say it's very sweet. It does have like er not herbs, um like like cloves and you know like that like kind earthy, of like earthy not earthy but you know the stuff you would put in desserts or pumpkin pie or cloves and nutmeg. Not bad though. It's all it's alright. <laughs> um I would give it a seven. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Alright, so this one is, I can't remember. It's a very long name. A bourbon barrel aged detective stout. That sounds good. Ooh, that one's good. That's really good. It's creamy, like a stout should be. Oh, like, almost like Guinness? A little lighter? A little lighter than Guinness. Yeah. This one is the Hi-Fi. Um, it's a IPA, a West Coast IPA. That one's good too. It's not too bitter at the end. It's actually um, pretty smooth for IPA. And then this one is um, the Lolly and Popsicle. So, um, I picked all the sweet sounding ones, I guess. <laughs> Ooh, that one's good too. So I think from here on, it's uh, good. But these three. But the la that first one was not my cup of tea, no. I had the Silver Fin, uh, 10 ounce. It's pretty good. Um, it has like a mild aftertaste. I like it. Is it like a lager? Uh, yeah, it's a lager. Okay. Um, it, it, um, it's similar to like Sam Adams um, lager. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. 
So unfortunately I can't film the menu because it does that weird thing. Like when you film flashing lights, it just does that. But you're supposed to scan the menu on your phone, but we're not just here for beer. They have a pretty good menu. They have um, like Reuben sandwiches, barbecue, pulled pork sliders, grilled cheese sandwiches, salads, different tacos, quesadillas, fries and chips and salsa, etc. And then they also have the specials of every Saturday, I believe. So today is Smash Burgers, so we're going to try that. Look at the sinks. They're barrels. That's so super cool. So it's a sink outside for unisex people to wash their hands. And then there's a shared bathroom here. Um, and there's another one over here. They're all single stalls. So pretty clean place. Definitely recommend it so far. Um, we'll talk about the food later when it comes out. Okay, so our food came out um, slowly. Got more stuff coming. We got some fries. I got the poblano taco. That's interesting. And it supposedly has mushrooms in it too. So if you're a vegetarian, you can eat that. And then we have a chicken taco too. So they also have carne asada. If we're not too full, we might um, try it as well. All right. So I have this taco. I'm going to squeeze some lime on there. I was just interested in this. I'm not a vegetarian or anything, obviously, but um, you don't really see a Poblano mushroom taco. There it is. And it looks really good. It's got like real queso, like some uh, queso fresco on there. Mmm. Really good flavors um, for a vegetarian taco. Really good. I'm sorry, there's no knives. Did you want to take a bite out of the other side? You're not interested? <laughs> You're like, I, I don't want no damn <laughs> vegan taco. But no, it's good. This is good though. It's got just regular mushrooms in it. They're like, it's, it's not too spicy too. Even though it's pepperoni peppers. It's super tasty. All right, we're gonna try the fries. Dip it in ketchup. Oh, Your classic um, shoestring fries, but they're fried really crispy and to perfection. Good bar food. <laughs> so this is their special for Saturday. It's a smash burger. You can get a double patty, but I, I know you left when I ordered, but I didn't get the double because they said it's an extra four bucks, and it was already like this is like 15 bucks. So it's kind of pricey, but it's delicious. It smells yummy. And then we got the Cubano sandwich. Look at that. So it's got the nice panini grill marks. So I got a Cubano sandwich. Uh, it normally has ham, roast pork, Swiss cheese, uh, mustard, and pickles. Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, no pickles on this one, but let's give it a try. Wow, real good. And you're um, from uh, Miami, so you should yeah. have <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the roast the roast pork stands out. It's really good. Like they probably like marinate or something. Yeah, the roast pork is actually smoked actually. Uh, yeah, that's really good. I think it's the best one I had in Hawaii so far. Damn, it's real good. Yeah, real savory. Um, I'm not sure if they cook the roast pork and the beef around the same area, but you kind of taste similar um, flavors with the beef and the roast pork. But it's, yeah, it's real good. I like it. Yeah, with the smash burger, they have bacon jam. So it has like a real savory taste to it. Okay. Yeah, I like it. Okay. That's one thing bad about here. There's no AC. It's super hot, but it's a really cool vibe. Let's try the food. You know, I don't think I can finish all of this, so I don't know if you want to half this one. <laughs> but uh, this is the Cubano. You can see all the gooey cheese in there. And the ham and the roast pork. So let's get to it and eat.
bread is super good. It's super crunchy and yummy. Crusty. I like the cheese. But I can tell the pork is Kahlua pig. <laughs> it's like... It has a little smoky taste to it. Yeah, it's usually smoky like that. But I mean, it's good. It's nice and soft. The meat. And the ham in there. It's easy to bite into. I'm not a fan of sandwiches, but that's pretty good. All right, this is the smash burger. We cut it in half so we could try it. It's got good cheddar cheese, looks like, or American cheese. Really good, and you see all this crispy stuff right here um, from the grill, man. It makes it crispy. It's got a mixture of crispy onions in there that were sauteed but not too soft. The bacon jam in here gives it that extra smoky flavor. And then the crispy smash burger that they smashed on the griddle has the crisp little edges with the soft bun. Yummy, man. Definitely suggest this if they have it as a special so that it's not on the menu every day. I believe it's the second Saturday of the month you can have this uh, on a Saturday. You do get chips. We're sharing a plate so I have my Cubano on here, but each sandwich has chips and so does the burger. All right, so I have the little drippings <laughs> the taco that somebody ate, and it wasn't carrots. <laughs> uh, they ate all the starch, but I'm just gonna try the chicken. I'm not a fan of chicken tacos, just because sometimes it can be dry, but um, I'll taste it. Mm. You know, it's pretty moist and juicy, but it's got a good Mexican oregano taste with cumin, so pretty authentic. They do give you a lot of sour cream though, but it's very nicely presented. I'll, I'll show you a close-up of it. But yeah, overall really good food, great brews, and it's amazing that they brew it all here in-house. You can see the brewing concoction back there. Um, don't forget they have awesome merchandise and hats and hoodies. I might go buy a shirt myself. I like the way the logo um, looks and the font. So, pretty cool. Definitely recommend coming here if you're just looking for simple bar food that really tastes good and has a little extra flair to it. S certain things like the smoked pork in the Cubano, the way the bread is crispy, the smash burger was fabulous with that crusty outside, the sautéed onions that still have a little crunch to them, and then the bacon jam. That makes it fancy. That was really good. The shoestring fries, they're pretty standard fries, but the way they fried them up, whoever's doing the cooking in the back does a great job because it's so crispy but not burnt. The Mexican food so far was amazing as well. All the tacos and, you know, can't complain. So um, I think we had a great time here. The beers are amazing. Lots of choices and they always change it up. You can also go to the front of the bar and they have a little fridge where you can buy some canned beer with some awesome logos on there too and I'll show you that. So come on down to Kalihi Beer if you've never heard of it. In the city with no pity, it's Kalihi. And I'm so glad that they have a brewery. And actually a lot of people are coming in enjoying the beers and the food. So I'm glad that they're getting a lot of business. Lots of parking on the street if you come on a weekend. If it's a weekday, unless it's like nighttime, I don't think you might get parking because there's a lot of like industrial places around here um, and mechanic shops. So they might be taking some of the spots like the workers in the daytime but we're here on a Saturday even though they have a parking lot with a few stalls uh, registered or assigned to them there was a lot of parking just like right in front of the door uh, on street parking so definitely come down here check out the brews and the food hello everybody my name is Kishone Finau I work over here at Kalihi Breweries and so right here is what our taps look like right over here check it out oh isn't this beautiful so we opened up during our COVID times uh, we used to be four Formerly known as Broken Boundaries, but now we are the one and only Kalihi Beer. So come check us out. We're over here in a small little town, Kalihi. Hello. And if you like this, press the like button, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you again on another food adventure next week. Peace out.